Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we're working on the exhaust on the Ford 4000 and also, finally, a new headlight. Well, here's the old setup and you can see I, I bent it and crimped it back pretty good and it's uh, pretty much falling apart. It's, it's all loose in here. Welds are all broken at the bottom and it's just, uh, needs to be fixed. So what happened was I, I was uh, driving the tractor and, and a tree branch came and I thought it would, a lot of times it would just fold back, but it was too thick and too low and it snapped back and hit this and it just folded the, the whole muffler right back to, right back to me. <laughs> so, and ever since then it's been leaking and I'm pretty sure that it's leaking at the manifold uh, in here, the exhaust manifold somewhere also um, and uh, there's also another junction i'll show you right up in here where i think it's totally loose or bent or something and probably came apart so the exhaust is just coming right out inside this this cabinet and then it just blows right back and up into my face so and i also think that i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be pointed in the other direction not towards my face but uh i'm not sure i mean aerodynamically i guess this way is better but I'm gonna turn it around anyway <laughs> I want the exhaust going out that way so what do we have here well we have all new parts uh, I got a new muffler there's an extension piece I got the exhaust manifold I got a clamp and I got the uh, gasket that uh, uh, for the exhaust manifold um, and I also got a new uh, rain cap so everything all new if I'm gonna do it we're gonna we're just gonna replace all of it uh, that's just kind of the way I do things with these old equipment if I, if I have to fix something, I'm just going to replace everything all at once because I know it's going to go bad at some point anyway. And uh, this stuff is just all rusted out and just needs to be replaced anyway. So hopefully it'll run a little quieter and uh, we won't have as many exhaust leaks and then I won't die. I also have a surprise for some of you. You'll see I have my electrical toolbox out here and some little connectors because I have a new headlight to put on the tractor. Every time I show this tractor, someone says, replace the headlight. <laughs> so here's the thing with, uh, with old equipment, and this goes for old homes, this goes for any repair. Uh, unless I absolutely have to dig into something, uh, if it's working for me, then I continue to run it. Uh, in this case, one headlight, I barely ever use the headlights, and so it's kind of just a cosmetic thing. So I, even though I had this headlight sitting in a box for the last you know two or three years, I, uh, I have not put it on because whenever you dig into this, what seems like the simplest of projects with this old equipment, you, we, we soon realize that, oh, we take the headlight off and oh, this wiring's bad, or oh, and then we, oh, the radiator's dirty, let's clean the radiator out, and then we clean the radiator out, and then you get water on something, and something shorts out, and then you gotta fix something else. And, and so when you're dealing with old equipment, you know, it's tempting to just start, okay, we wanna update this, I wanna fix this, let's put a new thing on here, let's put a new thing on there. And, and I've learned to try to resist that temptation a little bit because, Although I do want to take care of this equipment well, I also don't want to fix things if I don't have to because, you know, even just little nuts and bolts, as soon as you take nuts and bolts out of this thing, things rust, things break, panels don't go back together ever again because a little tab broke off or rusted off and, and you got to weld something. I mean, it, it can get, <laughs> you can go down a rabbit hole with, uh, with fixing these things. And so we want to fix it. We want to take care of things well, but something like this, I never really used anyway. Eventually what I want to do is really upgrade to LED lights and you can see there's these little holes on top of this uh, bucket and I think this is the best place to mount some LEDs and so I may do that down the road. Well, let's get started. I'm going to take some things apart here, uh, mostly just some panels and I'll try to, I, I'm not sure how well this stuff's going to come apart, but we'll try to get this stuff apart uh, and just get access in, down into the uh, manifold and everything and we'll take all that off and see if we need to run to the hardware store and, and get some new bolts.
only took that apart because I wanted to see how this extension piece fit into the manifold. And it looks like it's just pressure fit in there. I don't see any seals or gaskets or anything like that. So I guess we just pound the new one in. Alright, so we've got the new gasket here. Uh, this is the one that came with uh, the manifold. It's interesting that it only fits on here one way and it's almost like it's it's off by just a little bit, but it's not. I mean, there's maybe along the, along the bottom edge here, there might be a sixteenth of an inch, but it's not centered on the hole, which is interesting but it matches all the holes line up perfectly uh, to the old one so we're just gonna gonna go with it Can get <laughs> you can go down rabbit hole with uh, with fixing these things. <laughs> they don't match. 
I thought that they matched. The guy gave me a, a spare that he must have had, but they're they're not the same. I'm not sure what's worse, missing a headlight or the little headlight and the big headlight. So yeah, this exhaust went together really well, and uh, man, it's a lot quieter, so it's it's nice. But uh, not real happy with these parts, to be honest with you. I mean, this one, the paint just rubbed right off, and uh, in fact, there was a spot there, I don't know if you saw me when I put it on, the, the sticker, uh, they, they painted right over the sticker. And so when I took the sticker off, it was just bare metal. So this, of course, is just gonna rust. Not a big deal, but uh, you know, not great. And I always hate these stickers. I, I should have put some gooby on or something on it and rub that off first, but I guess it'll burn off or I'll scrape it off. I'm not sure if this is the right way to have it, but it sure is a lot nicer to have it kind of directing the exhaust away from my face. So I'm gonna leave it that way. Same thing with the exhaust manifold. They painted it nice and blue. And then as soon as I heated it up, it, uh, it just the paint wasn't, wasn't uh, heat, heat tolerant. So it just turned black. <laughs> That's what it, what it used to look like. So hopefully the paint will still stay on there and be black. I'm fine with that, but I just don't want it to fall off and rust. Even the most simple projects somehow seem to turn out to have trouble when you're dealing with old stuff. I knew it was gonna happen. That bolt uh, was seized up on there and no way to get a hold of it and, and wrench it loose. And uh, sometimes you just have to get the grinder out or the Sawzall or torches or... <laughs> So the simplest thing, replacing a headlight, and I don't even really like how it looks, so it doesn't really make a big difference. But uh, I'm gonna be looking around on Amazon for a good set of LEDs that I might put in there and uh, get maybe some on the front and then some up on the, uh, on the bucket, and then maybe one back here on the back side of it for a work light. So I'll play around, maybe we'll do an LED tractor update at some point and, and get that all done. But the big thing was the exhaust and having that done and not leaking and not blowing exhaust back in my face uh, is all I care about. And this thing sounds so much better because it's been leaking for a long time and uh, man, it was just making me sick. So that last hay cutting I did, sitting on this tractor for a couple hours at a time, uh, cutting and raking and bailing, um, every day I got off the tractor, I was sick and it, and it laid me out for a few hours each time. It just, just breathing all that stuff in. There was no way to get away from it. If I stood up or put my head to the side or whatever, it was still just the, the exhaust just right in my face. So it's nice to have that fixed. <laughs> but I wanna make sure the old tractor is ready to be used at any time. This thing gets used year round here on the farm. The absolute by far best investment that I made uh, was this tractor, the Ford 4000. Man, if you're looking for a homestead tractor or a farm tractor, any size property, this thing is, Man, what a great piece of equipment. The Ford 3000s, the 4000s, they make a 5000. Um, you know, then you're getting up into the into the real big stuff. But uh, uh, man, this is just a great tractor. It's heavy, it's powerful. Uh, it can run anything I need it to run here. And uh, I just always wanna make sure I take care of this thing. And, and if anything gets invested in in the farm or on the farm here, it'll probably be this. Um, I'll be constantly, you know, there's a, the tachometer's broken in here, so I never know what the RPMs are. It's hard to judge the PTO speed and stuff because of it. I'll probably get that fixed, you know, get a new, a new one put in there and get LEDs and stuff. And um, just, just constantly keeping this thing up is, uh, is really important to me. So there'll be lots more tractor repair videos. Nothing goes too long without breaking around here. So I'm sure there'll be more things to fix soon. In fact, the power steering's broken on this, so I might fix that down the road too. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed today's little repair. Uh, always nice to uh, keep things safe and uh, not, uh, not uh, almost die whenever I use the tractor. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.